Hi. I want to show you some tips and tricks for working with JSON files in Visual Studio. Before we dig in, uh, we have to make sure that we have the JSON editor experience installed. And so we're going to open the installer, the Visual Studio installer, and go into the individual components and make sure that we have the ASP.NET and Web Development Tools checkbox checked. If we don't, check it, install it. It's a small little thing to install if you don't have it already. If you already have the ASP.NET Web Tooling or .NET workloads installed, you're likely going to have this as well. But just make sure. Um, and so if we have that installed and we open a JSON file, we're going to see something similar to this. This is an empty file. And I'm now going to type uh, a new property. Let's call this ABC. So in JSON, properties have to be uh, in quotes. But I don't actually have to type quotes around properties in Visual Studio. I can just type the name of the property and then hit colon. There we go. So inserting the colon will automatically insert the uh, quotes for me. And let's give this a value. Hello. I'm going to hit the quotation mark here again. And it just kind of writes over the end quotation mark. So that's kind of, uh, kind of nice. And we know this from other languages as well. I just want to make sure that uh, you see that it works here too. Now, let's copy a string of JSON into this editor. Let me just copy this line that I have right here. And I'm going to copy it in after my existing property. So I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm going to hit Control v for Paste. Notice how Visual Studio automatically formatted the string that I pasted in, so it's no longer minified in one line as, as what I was copying. And it also inserted the comma after the first property for me to make this document a valid JSON document. So there's a there's some logic in here that makes sure that uh, it will keep itself valid if it can. Let me undo once here. And you can see now we have that long one line. Um, I'm going to undo again, and then we're back to... Where we start. I can also paste this on top. So let's paste it right here. And we see the same formatting happening. And now the comma was added to the end of what I pasted in, again, to make the document valid. Uh, the final thing I want to show you here is um, the light bulbs. So we have a light bulb that lets us sort properties alphabetically. So now we can see here ABC is now the first one because alphabetically it's before friends. It will automatically sort the properties that are on the same level or in the same scope um, as the one that you're you're clicking on. Um, and that makes it super easy. You can go into to nested um, objects and arrays and whatnot and easily order alphabetically in there. Um, there's also a feature for working with schema files. So let's say I want to write a JSON version of a resume. Um, there's a chance that if I look through all the different schemas that are supported, that one of them will be a resume, and it is. So these are well-known formats of JSON files uh, that's coming from schemastore.org which Visual Studio automatically uh, integrates with. Uh, and that gives us full IntelliSense for what a format like this could be. So if I were to write um, a resume, I might use an existing format. Could be something like this. It even makes sure that I don't do any uh, mistakes. So let's say awards here. Let's say I made a spelling mistake here. It will actually call that out saying, hey, no, this is not a valid property. So all that information is coming from the schema. It's coming from schemastore.org and it's right here in Visual Studio as we type. So I can easily go fix this. There we go. So that was the first round of uh, tips and tricks with JSON. We're going to have another video showing much more about JSON schemas, how to write them, how to use them. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.